what is up guys it's finally here the tutorial you have all been waiting for how to use the soundboard in overwatch or any kind of game or software you don't need a launchpad or ableton live this is completely free so there's two softwares you need to download and everything is going to be linked in the description down below the first one is going to be exps soundboard so just go into this website press the download link let it download and then we can actually go into virtual audio cable right here and press the download link directly here so press download on both of them and we're just going to put this to the side right here and then we are going to create a new folder on our desktop called soundboard and we're going to drag in both of these files into the little map we have here okay so the first thing we're going to have to install is going to be the vb audio cable and we have to unzip this with winraw or zip archive or whatever you have to unzip files you just double click it create a map in our folder already here we're going to call it vb audio and i'm just going to highlight all of this and drag it directly into this folder so it's unzipped now if you have a 64-bit system you're going to double click on the x64 if you have a 32-bit system you're going to just install the normal setup so double click on whatever you have and then right here you can see it says remove driver for me because i already have it installed but for you it's going to say install so you just press the install button press next it's going to install the software and then you're going to have to restart your computer so right now restart your computer and come back to this video and continue from this point i'm going to put a timestamp in the description so now hopefully you have restarted your computer and what we can do is we can open up the exp soundboard so you just double click this and you don't even have to install it it's that simple Okay, so now it's open. The first thing you have to do is on second output for you, it's going to say primary sound driver. You want to put it onto cable input VB audio virtual cable. And then you want to have this use button checked in. So you see the check mark right here. All right, now we're going to go into our control panel on Windows and we are going to go into the sound. And then we're going to go into the recording and for you it's going to look something like this you might have some more files here but you're going to have your primary microphone and then you have the cable output you want to right click on the cable output and you want to set as default communication device i'm going to press ok now you want to add some kind of sound files of course that you can play in the exp soundboard so you can play in the game like hanzo voice lines or whatever you want to have so now you just go onto YouTube and search for whatever sound effects you want. You want to have maybe double kill or baby crying sound effects when someone is being tilted or whatever, whatever you want. But to add sound effects, you're going to press the add button. You're going to press select. And I'm just going to go into my PC here, editing stuff. Da -da -da. Now we're going to just take the um, baby crying sound effect. Press select and now you're going to press your hotkey. This button is going to be the button on your keyboard that is going to play back the sound in game. So I'm just going to use numpad 7. Press done. And now when I press numpad 7, you're going to hear the sound effect in game and you're going to hear it on the desktop. So if I press it. All right, you heard it. So we're actually going to go into Overwatch right now. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up in Overwatch. All right, so we are inside of Overwatch. We're going to press the options button on the bottom left. We're going to go into sound and you can see here in voice chat mode, you want to have that on open mic and voice chat devices. You want to have this on comms devices as you saw, like we did in the windows before we had it on comms devices. Now, if you do want to use a microphone and you don't want to use your soundboard, you can just change this to push to talk and your default devices and you're going to be back to your microphone. Okay, guys, to try out the soundboard without having to go into game, all you have to do is press play game browser create and you're gonna see here we're gonna join a team voice chat there we go so now if i would press my numpad 7 to play the crying baby sound you're gonna see on the top left corner that my microphone is active as you see my sound is getting played into overwatch and everyone can hear it in the game but it's actually that simple if you guys have any questions if you guys have any kind of problems just comment down below and i'll try to get back at you i might not be able to read all the comments of course but if there's some kind of general questions that it's not working i will try to comment back and help you guys if not just tweet at me and i will try to reply to you at twitter so after this video there's going to be a lot of people that's going to start using their soundboards in overwatch and i'm not sure how that is going to affect me when i'm trying to record my soundboard videos because that might make so people don't want to uh, listen to me when i'm using my soundboard they might just mute me instantly because they're getting really tired of it and they might just get a huge spam of soundboard videos on youtube but if this video helped you guys in any kind of way don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content peace out and hope you guys have a great day